What if I told you there's a photochromic lens technology that hardly anyone talks about, and it doesn't just perform, it enhances. It's unique, it's fashionable, and it changes the way you see the world. It's called Dynamica, and today I'm going to walk you through the full spectrum of colorways. You're now tuned in to, to, to the Opti Optical Gallery. If you're new to the channel, I'm Nick creator of eyewear, lens artist, and dispensing optician at the Optical Gallery. So what are photochromics? Let's start with the basics. Photochromic lenses are lenses that react to UV light. Indoors they're clear, step outside, and they darken. They were designed to protect your eyes from UV, without you having to carry around two pairs of glasses. So you may be thinking, why am I so obsessed with Dynamica? For me, it's the freedom they give. Most photochromics are made with the chemistry baked into the lens material itself, which means you're stuck with whatever color the manufacturer decides. Dynamica is different. It's actually a surface treatment. And what that means is it plays well with other tints, mirrors, and coatings. And that's why I love them. We can push things further, not just functionally, but creatively. They're saturated, they're stylish, and they open doors other photochromics can't. Performance-wise, some shades react as quickly as transitions or photofusion. Others may take a little bit longer, but honestly, with the color payoff, I really don't mind. Let's take a tour of the colors, and instead of me just waving lenses at you in the studio, we're going to step outside too, so you can see what it actually looks like to view the world through each one. So let's start with Avion. This was one of the originals in the Dynamica line and honestly still one of the most wearable. Think of it as your classic photochromic but upgraded. Avion has an inky blue grey tone. It gives you that neutral classic look people often want from a photochromic but with more depth, more lift. If you've ever felt that grey lenses make the world look a bit dull, Avion fixes that. It's also one of our most popular Dynamica colours because a lot of people still want that traditional style, but they want it more fresher, more modern, and easier to pair with frames. It's the everyday, safe choice, but without being boring. Take Avion outside, and you'll see it deepen into this midnight blue tone. Depending on UV levels, it can go all the way up to around 80% density. It still feels classic, but it's richer, and it makes the world look a little bit more alive. For me, this is what a grey lens should have always been. Performance-wise, Avion reacts to a similar pace as Transitions Grey. Quick to darken, quick to fade back. But stylistically, you'll never look at a standard grey in the same way again. Now on to Pink Rio. And this one's personal, because it's my favourite in the Dynamica collection. If you've ever heard the phrase, the world looks better through rose-tinted lenses, this is the ultimate version of that. Pink Rio is vibrant and saturated, and hands down is one of the best pink photochromics I've ever seen. Most pinks in the past have looked washed out or gimmicky. This has depth, character, and enough style to stand on its own. Outdoors, it builds to around a 70-75% density, depending on UV. It's actually our second most popular Dynamica colour. Clients love it because it's playful and expressive, but still wearable every day and I get it, I wear it myself. Here's what it's like to see through the Pink Rio outside. Pink lenses naturally absorb part of the blue spectrum, which takes the edge off glare and makes everything feel easier on the eyes. And visually, it's just beautiful, a warm, rosy glow that can even change your whole mood. That's why I built one of our signature cocktails, OG Winterberries, around the Pink Rio. It's not just fashion, it's function. Is cycling, winter sports, or just daily life with a view to make everything look a little bit better. Clients who have tried it say the same thing I do, and it's addictive. Next up is Jade Green, and I'll say it now, this is the boldest green photochromic I've ever seen. If Pink Rio is playful, Jade Green is powerful. It's saturated, vibrant, and it screams intention and style. When UV hits Jade Green, it builds to about 70 to 75% density. It takes a little longer to fade back compared to something like Avion, but that's not a bad thing because what you get while it's active is stunning. This one's perfect for anyone who wants their eyewear to be a conversation starter. Personally, I think it looks incredible in a chunky black acetate. The contrast between the deep black and that saturated green is just pure magic. 
Outdoors, Jade Green does more than look bold. It enhances contrast and sharpness, so details stand out. Perfect for golf, driving or even hiking. It also keeps colours accurate, so the world doesn't look distorted, just clearer and brighter. And here's a fun one. Some studies even suggest that green tones can support eye comfort and may help people who suffer from migraines or light sensitivity, which makes Jade Green a rare mix of fashion and function. For me though, it's the mood it gives, alive, confident and cool. And that's why I love pairing it into some of our lens art cocktails. More on those in another video. Now, on to amber. Though honestly, I'd call it more of an orange because compared to Transitions Amber, which sits in a softer brown tone, Dynamica Amber is bolder and brighter and unapologetically orange. Under UV, Amber builds to about a 40 to 50% density. It's not the darkest in the collection, but what you get while it's active is this vivid, energizing orange glow. This is the color for people who don't mind making a statement and for those who want function wrapped in style. Fashion-wise, it pairs brilliantly with blue frames. That clash of orange against the blue is electric. Through the lens, amber does what pink and green can't. It hammers down on contrast, clarity and sharper depth perception. It makes hazy conditions look crisp. It brightens shadows and it helps you pick out detail faster. Perfect for activities where split second decisions matter. Gaming, tennis, shooting, or even just when you want the world to look punchy and warm. Because it blocks so much blue light, Amber has this energizing, mood lifting effect. The whole scene looks warmer and happier. It's like putting the world through a golden hour filter. Now, it does fade back slower than the rest of the Dynamica palette, but that's not always a bad thing. In fact, if you're into fashion, that slower fade gives you this super cool, semi-tinted look indoors. It's that stylish halfway there vibe people try to recreate with a permanent tint. Except here, it's dynamic and alive. So whether it's for sports, style or statement, Amber brings something that no other colour does. And if you haven't noticed by now, there are so many variables when it comes to photochromics. Even something as simple as fade back times can make a big difference depending on the person or the situation. That's why I always say, whether it's with us or elsewhere, make sure you see a Marma Vision or Dynamica specialist, because this isn't just lenses, it's tailoring light to you. Now on to Amethyst. And let me be clear, this is actually purple, because when you look at other photochromics on the market, like Transitions Amethyst, half the effect is almost placebo. The name makes you think it's purple, but really it's closer to a smoky grey with a faint hue. Dynamica's Amethyst, no doubt, is rich, saturated and truly purple. When UV hits, Amethyst gets seriously dark, to about an 80 to 85% density. It's one of the deepest shades in the Dynamica collection, and that intensity makes it an amazing option for pairing with gold frames or anything with purple undertones. It feels regal, bold, and unmistakably different. This one's ideal for anyone who wants something distinctive, but still wearable day to day. It has more subtlety than Pink Rio or Jade Green, but it still turns heads. Through the lens, Amethyst reduces glare and softens harsh light by filtering out some of the blue and green spectrum. It boosts contrast, making detail sharper, and at the same time it's calming to look through. The world feels clearer, but not harsh. Almost like giving your eyes a little bit of breathing space. If Pink Rio uplifts, Jade Green energizes, then Amethyst steadies. It gives more of a shaded effect than the brighter colors. So when you're outside, it feels closer to wearing a true pair of sunglasses compared to Pink Rio, Jade Green, or Amber. That makes it brilliant for outdoor activities where glare reduction matters, but also for anyone that just loves the fashion statement of deep purple lenses. The richness and density here set it apart from anything else on the market. Next up, Indigo. And this one is a chameleon. Is it blue? Is it purple? The truth is, it's both. And that's exactly what Indigo is by definition. Dynamica have absolutely nailed it. This shade almost feels like bottled ultraviolet light. It's moody, regal, and just a little mysterious. 
Indigo builds to about an 80 to 85 percent density outdoors, so it's deep, dark, and commanding. Indigo works for people who want the best of both worlds. The sophistication of a deep blue with the intrigue of a purple woven through. Depending on the frame you pair it with, the colour leans one way or the other. In gold metal it feels majestic, in a bold acetate it takes on a more futuristic edge. That's what makes it so versatile. You can steer the mood of the colour with the frame choice. Through the lens, indigo cuts glare, softens harsh light, particularly from the blue-violet spectrum. That makes it soothing for people with light sensitivity, but also sharper and clearer in low visibility conditions like fog or snow. It balances out the world while still keeping things vivid. Colours feel richer, edges feel more defined. It's one of those shades that make you stop and stare for a little bit longer. Now on to Dynamica Brown, and this one really stands in a realm of its own. Brown has always been a staple tint, but here's the thing. Most browns in photochromics, like transition brown, lean a bit sludgy. There's too much grey pigment across the board in transitions. Dynamica Brown, though, is a whole different story. It's vibrant, and it looks closer to Transitions Ruby than their standard brown. Not identical, but it carries the warmth and the richness. When it activates, it builds to around a 75 to 80% density, giving you a deep, confident tone that just makes everything look better. Brown lenses are brilliant for anyone who wants a mix of function and feeling. They enhance contrast, they improve depth perception, and they make the world feel a little bit brighter and happier. Dynamica Brown pairs beautifully with natural materials, horn, wood, or even earthy toned acetates. It feels organic, stylish, and grounded. And because it's so versatile, it works as an all-rounder tint. You can wear it day in and day out. Looking through Dynamica Brown outside, everything gets a lift. Shadows become clearer, details sharper, and the whole scene feels warm and inviting. It's particularly great for activities where you need to judge distance, tennis, fishing, even driving. And unlike a flat grey lens, brown gives you a touch of vibrancy without distorting colour too far from reality. This tint is also a strong choice for people who want comfort without compromise. It can reduce eye strain and be more comfortable for those with certain eye conditions. But beyond the science, it's just a great vibe. Warmth, contrast and clarity all in one. For me, Dynamica Brown isn't just a utility lens, it's a lifestyle lens. The sort of tin that makes every day look a little bit more golden. Now on to Dynamica Grey, and this one's interesting, because honestly, most grey photochromics out there, they look grey. Dynamica Grey doesn't. It looks black. And that right there is the perfect example of what I've been saying about saturation across the whole Dynamica range. If you want a lens that goes dark, really dark, this is your guy. When it's activated, Dynamica Grey pushes around 80 to 85% density, easily one of the darkest in the collection. And instead of that washed out charcoal tone you get from other greys, this is a deep, true black. Now, I'll be honest, it's not really my personal vibe, but for some people it just works, and I love the way it pairs with fluorescent colour frames, light tail eyewear, or Sabine B. That contrast with the bright neon colours against the depth of a jet black lens is striking. Looking through Dynamica Grey, you get maximum light reduction. It's ideal for people who are super light sensitive, or for those blazing summer days when you just need to cut out everything. What makes grey unique is that it keeps colour perception natural. So unlike brown or amber, it doesn't change how the world looks. It just tones the brightness right down, true to life colours in shade mode. This is great for general outdoor use, and especially for situations with harsh glare, like water sports, beach days, or just long walks on a sunny day. It's not best if you're looking for enhanced contrast or depth perception, but if you want sunglass level performance from a photochromic, Dynamica Grey is the one. Think of it as the heavyweight of the range. Big, bold, and absolutely commanding. Now on to Dynamica Green. And let me tell you straight, this isn't like any other green lens you've seen before. 
It's not G15, it's not emerald, and it's definitely not jade. This is something different. An earthy, warm, khaki green. Think sophistication with a grounded organic vibe. When it's activated, Dynamica Green hits around 70 to 75% density. The undertones of brown running through it give it that earthy, natural look. Less of a jewel tone, more of a subtle, confident khaki. And that makes it one of the most versatile shades in the entire range. Personally, I love pairing this colour with natural materials. Leather, horn, wood, even gold frames. It instantly elevates the frame into something more sophisticated and timeless. It's less about shouting and more about style that speaks quietly but powerfully. Looking through Dynamica Green outdoors is a really calming experience. It balances light beautifully, not too warm, not too cold, and keeps colours true to life. This makes it a fantastic all-rounder. Everyday wear, walks in the park, outdoor sports like tennis or hiking. It performs across the board for clients who want UV protection but don't want to feel like they're wearing a statement lens. This is the perfect choice. And finally, Blue Ocean, the newest addition to the Dynamica family. And I can proudly say it actually launched right here at the Optical Gallery earlier this year at our Teo Eyewear London Takeover Exhibition. Now, if you're an eyewear enthusiast and you want to keep up to date with the exhibitions we host, whether it's Teo, Kubaram, Marma, or whoever we bring in, make sure you're subscribed to our newsletter. Tickets are always limited. They go first come, first serve. And if you want to be in the room for these moments, take two minutes to go to www.opticalgallery.co.uk and subscribe. Back to the lens. Blue Ocean is calm, classy, and refined. It's a lighter tone, almost baby blue with a slight turquoise vibe. Nothing too loud or over the top. Compare it to something like Photofusion Blue, which is a vibrant in your face blue color. Blue Ocean is the opposite. It's subtle, it's elegant, and it's cool. Outdoors, it builds to around 50 to 60% density. So it's not trying to be the darkest lens in the room. It's more about approachability, style, and laid back sophistication. This one is perfect for people who want their eyewear to be fashionable, but not shouty. Think about pairing it with gold wireframes or a rimless design. It instantly makes them look more luxurious. Through the lens outside, Blue Ocean feels calm and cooling. It reduces glare and gives you clarity in bright conditions and just softens everything around you into this smooth, tranquil tone. It doesn't distort colours, it's subtle, balanced and flattering. Perfect for anyone who wants their lenses to feel as relaxed as they look. Blue Ocean is also the quickest Dynamica to react. So if you're in and out of the sun all day, this colour keeps up with you. I recommend it for anyone who loves the idea of photochromics, but doesn't want something that feels heavy or overly tinted. It's easygoing, versatile, and classy. So that's it. Blue Ocean, the understated fashion lens of the Dynamica collection. Stylish, wearable, and the perfect reminder that not every lens has to shout and make a statement. And there you have it, the full Dynamica collection. It's not just about blocking UV anymore. It's about finding the balance between style, protection, visual enhancement, mood, and self-expression. If you do like the sound of Dynamica, whether you come to us or go elsewhere, please make sure that you're seeing a Marma or Dynamica specialist. In due course, I'll be sharing how Dynamica really comes alive when you can combine it with custom tints. That's where things get seriously creative. Above my head, somewhere, should be a link to our Lens Art playlist. So you can check out some of the cocktails we've already produced for people. But for now, I want to know, which Dynamica colour spoke to you the most? Which one would you actually wear? Drop it in the comments because I genuinely geek out over this stuff and I'd love to hear your take. Until next time, protect your eyes, look good doing it and peace.